you guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl tamrick and i'm back today with another video so as y'all can see with what's going on right now it's a hair video and the light was off just now i'm trying to get my life together i'm doing it again but anyways um so if you have been on my channel you already know that i like to use two leave-in conditioners jamaican black castor oil one and then the as i am I use both of them together so I can have that extra slip on my hair and my hair was freshly washed which is why you see me with a towel and there's like water all over my shirt a little bit. Um, so now I'm going with the second deep, deep condition, leave in conditioner, oh my gosh, which is the as I am um, and then I'm going to use the desangling brush that if you've been on my channel you should have seen me use from Amazon. The link is in the description box of my natural hair video. No, my high puff. I will link that um, down below somewhere. Um, so you guys can get the link if you need any of these items. So now I'm going on the side and I'm parting my hair. Typically I like my side part to be on the right side because my nose ring is over there and I take most of my pictures on that side. But for this one, I went, I had the swoop come over to the side, so the part was actually on the left. So anyways, I'm just testing it out to see if it works, and it does, so we will move on. I'm going to twist out the front of my hair so it doesn't get in the way of what I'm doing with the back. Um, and then I'm going to clip it up with a clip. Y'all see that twist? Okay. But uh, I struggle to open these clips, so bear with me. Um... So the back is pretty easy. I actually just apply gel to the perimeter of my head. Anywhere that doesn't have hair on top of it, I apply gel. And I'm using that brush that I told y'all I've had since ninth grade. Since uh, I actually had it since I moved to the U.S. in 2013. And I'm going to brush it up. So it's a pretty simple process to get the back down. The bulk of the work comes in with the front. So I realized my hairbrush had a lot of product in it and I need to wash it um, so it was leaving some residue on my uh, hair but nothing we can't get get through okay because we could get through whatever um, so now I'm using the scrunchie and as you can see I'm just wrapping it around multiple times to get it as tight as possible without hurting my head and the slick part of it is done now we're gonna get into size swoop okay so for this part, um, I like to part it in sections um, just because it's like hard handling a swoop with so much hair. So I take the first section off and I just brush it into the hair. I don't really apply any additional gel just for the simple fact that there's already product in the brush and on my hair. And that's what I was so hype about. That's why my tongue was hanging out my head. Okay, guys. So I'm going to part the next section off and I'm going to gel it in it. I'm not going to gel it in. I'm going to brush it in as well. And then that smaller section in the front that I'm pinning up is the section that we're going to work with for the swoop. Y'all keeping up, guys. Y'all following along. So now everything is real slick back. Y'all see how um, clean those parts are? And I didn't even take my time with them. So now I'm brushing the swoop part of it to the front. I'm just going to comb it out with the detangling brush to get it all nice and detangled so I can get it as flat as possible. Because when you're working with curly hair, um, it could be get puffy really easily. So you want it as um, detangled as possible to get it as flat as possible. Okay, and now I'm going to like start to brush it to the side, like try, start to swoop it. Okay, um, so... It takes me a couple of tries. I haven't done this in a while, but also like it always takes me a couple of tries because I get it sometimes like on the first try. Like I like it like this, but then somehow I'm going to do something that messes it up. As y'all saw, saw in the uh, the high bun video, I'm never satisfied. So I'm just going to keep messing with it until I get it how I like it. But it's going to take me some time. I'll also link that video somewhere. Okay. So anyways, I keep brushing um, and keep messing it up until I get it to where I want it to be because that's just how I am, especially when it comes to my hair. Um, and that's just how it's going to be, baby. Um, so there isn't much to it. It just like 
you just want to get it so that there isn't any holes as you can see there's some holes in the front you don't, you don't want any holes in it and you want it to just be swooped and I like it to be like a little closer to my eyebrow instead of being all the way back to my forehead um yeah and it's a little hard to get it all the way to your eyebrows just for the fact that like your hair is gonna get uh because I'm not really trying to use a lot of hair it's gonna get like holes in it so I don't like it like that I want it down to my face so I think after a couple of tries, you just keep trying. Um, you'll get it. Men and women are going to fuck us. I bet they're going to listen to nothing. I'm going to stress that child that your style. It's the truth. So I think this is where I actually get it good enough. That's how I like it. Um, and then I'm going to mess it up again, trying to do edges. But that's how I like it. Um... And I just apply some more gel to keep everything in place. And I put another scrunchie over it to make sure everything's intact. And y'all see the hairstyle is actually finished. So now I'm just double checking everything and then I'm going to start on my edges. You don't have to do edges with this hairstyle guys. It's still just an option. But I started doing my edges since I started my YouTube channel. Just so I can get better practice in. I think I've been getting better each time and I say just keep practicing with stuff that you think you don't you won't get um, I did the same thing with my lashes I practice every day for a week until I can figure out how to actually put my lashes on so if you don't know how to do edges now just keep practicing and I bet you in a while you will get it so I put it to that side first I don't know what I was doing um, and that's how I ended up messing up the hair guys so don't be like me. After you struggle with your swoop and you get it right, don't go back and mess it up like me. Okay. So I'm gonna fix that real quick. Um, you see what I'm talking about right there? Messed up. And a little screen because it's traumatizing. And now I'm gonna actually fix my edges how they should have been fixed in the first place. Um, as I said guys just keep practicing with them and you'll get them I just started doing them for you guys I hope y'all I hope y'all like it or whatever um, somehow I always have my tongue hanging out my head whenever I'm uh, doing my hair um, or whenever I'm close up to the camera I don't know but anyways y'all see how bad my skin is breaking up Ooh. but uh once you get the edges done, and as I said, you don't really need to do them. You could leave it just like that, especially if you're in a rush. Um, and you're good to go. So now the hairstyle itself is actually finished. Um, I'm just trying to make it perfect. And there we have it, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Uh -huh. Y'all see that puff shakes? Y'all see them curls, girl? Bye. Thank you.